Time, welcome back to Mining Monday. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Asus Phoenix 1050 Ti here, the 4 gig version. I'm going to be showing you what the power consumption is while mining Ether and what the hash rate is. You can use this to work out your calculations for ROI on other graphics cards and other coins that you might be mining. If you haven't been following my series, check out the other mining videos I've got. I'll put some links in the description. I've done the 1050 Ti's of pretty much a few other brands as well. I've also done some 1070s, 1060s, 1080s. If you're interested in knowing what rig I'm using to test this, I'll put the link in the description of the rig that I built. It has all the specifications in there to show you what I've been using. I'm going to be using the TP-Link HS110 to show you the power consumption. I'm going to show you the overclocking settings here and what we can do, what power we can get out of it, using the MSI Afterburner to do that software. So let's get into it. If there's anything you want me to take a look at, let me know in the comments below as well. So off the bat here, the card is using 29 watts of power without any load. When under load as it is now with default clock settings, it's, it's running 12.2 hash, 12.4 hash, and it's using 87 watts of power. Another thing to note is the GPU is at 54 degrees C. So let's get clocking it, see how it performs, let's see what we can get out of it. It's pretty good clock off the start here, but 12 hash without any modification. It's using the Hynix memory here, not the Macron or not Samsung. So this will be interesting to see. I don't think I've clocked one with this memory yet. Let's see what it does. Another thing to note before we get into it actually is the 1050 only has two gig of RAM and that won't be very good for downloading the blockchain. You'll need the four gig, which is why the TI is good because it gives you more capacity when processing it. The cards at the moment are around 150 pounds UK, which is a lot less than 1070, which is going on at 550 quid or the 1060s, which are around 320. So this is quite good money for ROI. These are worth looking at at the minute. So let's take a look. So we have a first on mining Mondays. This is the first one I've seen go backwards in hash when overclocking the memory. Um, it's running 84 watts of power and it's doing 11 hash, not 12 and a half like it was doing before. 12.2, it's dropped a hash. What? So this is not looking good straight off the bat. I've clocked all the cards I've done late, which is probably about 10 cards, and I've always clocked them to 400 memory clock, and it always gives me a decent result straight off the bat, and this one's just gone backwards. Let's see what? So let's carry on and see what it's going to do. So we've pushed it to 600 core clock here. It's still running 11 hash. It's still pulling 85 watts of power. So it's still mining. In fact, it's going to have to 10. What? The GPU temperature up to 62 degrees. So it's getting pretty warm. This memory does not look good at the moment for clocking. Let's try it a little bit further. It's still running. Let's see if we can get anything out of it. I think we're not going to see anything here, but let's try. So some credit due to it here. It's doing plus 800 memory core. It's still doing 11 hash. It's still pulling 85 watts of power. It literally isn't moving. It isn't doing anything. I don't know what it's doing. It's just sitting there doing nothing it's still pulling power normally you'd see the power drop off normally you'd see the error in the uh, command here it's, it's i don't know what it's doing it's just taking the power but lowering the hash rate doesn't make sense let's try a thousand out of pure curiosity so a thousand memory core it hasn't killed over but it's hitting a lot of tens and it's still playing 85 watts of power so maybe aces here has somehow capped the memory been a bit sneaky here because it is the lower range card Still 150 compared to the other ones, like the Expert Edition. It doesn't make sense that the hash rate goes down when the memory clock is turned up. That shouldn't happen. It should normally give you 14 or 15 hash, you should have seen from this. It's certainly getting warmer, 63C. I don't know. Let's just call it, clock the core, see what happens. Turn the core up here by 100. Still at 11 hash. <laughs> it's pulling 86 watts of power, a little bit more power. But it isn't changing. It's like they've capped it. It's like they've done something to the card to stop it being able to be clocked. That's the way I see it. So the default one's set to a certain cap, and then the overclock versions with the dual fans, for instance, they seem to get a bit better, a bit preferential treatment, maybe. Maybe the different memory, because they may be using Macron RAM. It should at least keel over. It's not even keeling over. So let's put another 100 through it so it does. Core clock. So 200 core clock here. It's still doing 11 hash. It's pulling eight. 6.5 watts of power, a little bit more power, but it hasn't changed. I'm going to push the core clock all the way and see what it does. So it turns, as if it keels, if not, then it confirms to me somehow Asus is, is restricting what this card can get out of it itself by overclocking. Thousand core clock and it has keeled over. <laughs> Stop pulling power. So it doesn't like a core clock of a thousand, which was extreme. I've never seen a, a card do that. I pure it to do it out of morbid curiosity to see if the card would do something and there it has its killed over. So a full declock of the memory dropped it to 11 hash. I've declocked the power, I've declocked the core, and I've declocked the memory here. Let's see what we can get out of it power-wise, just out of curiosity. I think this card pretty much says it all. It's 
not going to be very good for mining here with the Hynix memory in it. With these declock settings, it's pulling 74 watts. It's still pretty high considering what we've declocked and you're only getting nine hash out of it. So make your mind up. I probably wouldn't use this for mining. It might be good for gaming. It looks like Asus or somehow like some kind of tolerances here potentially, or they've picked certain chips. I don't have very much overclocking potential. I've never seen one declock when you increase the memory course and crash, but not declock in terms of what performance you're getting. So that's unusual. So let me know in the comments what you're getting. If you've got any of these cards, you're interested to see if you've got anything out of it and what memory you're using. And until the next one, I'll see you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.